the Hamish and Andy Show podcast. Powered by Amy. Lucky you're with Amy. Right, right. It's time to get down to business. With your help, Hamish and Andy are covering off on every topic in the world. And right now, there is no topic more important than... Mmm, donuts. Before you do a skerrick of work today, make sure you know all there is to know about... Mm Mmm, donuts. When we talk business, we talk... Mmm, donuts. I'm Peter Harvey, this is Hamish and Andy's Business Brunch, and business starts... Now... Good morning, everybody. Coffee's out. Big tray of donuts in the centre of the table. But don't eat them because we're discussing them today and we'd like them to be the focal point. It is, of course, the business brunch. One topic per day. Very brunch-like today because the topic is donuts, Ham. <laughs> oh, dear, donut. Get me started, my friend. <laughs> What a wonderful topic. A suggestion by Glenn Robbins last week. Yeah. Uh, he came in to talk about celebrity endorsements. The first ever business consultant we've had on the show. Mm. Uh, we said to him, Glenn, look, donuts is a nice idea for a topic, but, mate, the way the topics get selected is completely random. They yeah. get pulled out of a hat with 27 trillion other topics. I really wouldn't hold your breath. I don't think donuts is going to come up anytime soon. Wouldn't you know it? Wow. Lo and behold, yep. we eat our words like a beautiful uh, hot chocolate dipped churros or mexican donut and here we are doing donuts not not one week after we yelled at glenn robbins and demanded he get out of the studio for trying to influence the selection of topics so sorry glenn if you're listening yeah. uh, great suggestion and uh, um, we look forward to doing and, it and who, who could believe this has happened and so much to get through so much correspondence hamishandy.com forward slash topics straight after this mate and uh, we will be talking to a girl uh, her name is Brooklyn McNuggets. It's her a company lady, Brooklyn McNugget, McNuggets. Uh, difficult one to say, Brooklyn yeah. McNuggets. Has, uh, has been inside the world of donuts. We're going to go to the manufacturing side of donuts wow. straight after this. Hey, Mr. Andy, business brunch. One topic per day we do on this show. The topic is donuts. Uh, we can only have one topic a day. The amount of donuts you should eat at one time, I'd imagine. Haim. I do not agree with that one little bit, <laughs> sir. But I'll carry on. You reckon multiple donuts at the one time? It, well, th- that's the that's the excitement. Once you burst the donut dam, let it rain forth. Uh, <laughs> like uh, a few people might remember uh, from one of the Simpsons Halloween episodes, where it starts raining donuts. Um, <laughs> That's a fantasy world that we all want to live in. Yep. Of course, it would be terrible ecologically. All marine life would die out. There'd be no water birds if mm. there was no rain. But for a little while, God would have a lot of fun while the donuts were fresh. Oh, I don't but know. Ando, we've got a bit of a... the ground <clears throat> and we needed to sweep them away and just a, like in a torrential down, donut downpour, um, they'd get pretty ugly pretty quickly. I'm talking first 10 minutes. I'm talking, That's all I'm <laughs> okay, talking about. That's, okay, that's yeah, cool. only how long that fantasy works for because when you think about like trees will die yeah. um, or the fish will die. We'll die. Yeah. You'd be dead within, I don't know, it's a world without water yeah. because no rain, no water. So you're probably talking humanity perishes within 30 days <laughs> but the first 10 minutes is a heck of a party as it rains donuts. <laughs> However, Ando, it, playing into that, into that theory, Brooklyn McNuggets, company lady Brooklyn McNuggets, mm-hmm. She ran into us. She has worked in a donut factory. It was her first job. And a lot of the time, emails like this, you feel, you go, oh, no, we're going to see the sad side of donuts. She says it was as magical as it sounds. Really? She got to eat leftover donuts. She took boxes of donuts home to snack on. This is... (laughs) Actually, I'm having trouble talking because I'm getting a little uh, little wet in the old talking and eating hole. Well, the reason I'm salivating is she joins us on the phone yes. uh, to talk about hybrid donuts. Uh, first of all, company lady Brooklyn, welcome to the show. Hello, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. How's it going? This this is so exciting. The the the, the part of your uh, your correspondence I was fascinated by <laughs> was during your you wrote during your shift you created super hybrid donuts that were not available to the public. Why not? Wow. Do you think we could have handled them? Could you still get your hands on some? Go for it. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, I can't get my hands on them. I haven't worked at the donut shop for over 10 years, yeah, and right. it has mm. closed down since. Were you like I the Frankenstein? Couple of hurdles, couple of barriers. Of donut making. Were you just doing your own evil experiments with donuts kind of underneath the shop, hoping to make the perfect one? 
Pretty what? much you'd kind of wait till the boss would leave and yep. then you were allowed to have like your an, an afternoon snack of donuts. Wow. Um, so sometimes um, we didn't have really specialty donuts available. So sometimes I'd put some caramel in with some chocolate or like oh, custard God. cream, yeah. caramel filling oh, on a chocolate God. donut. <laughs> How are they getting oh, filled? Yeah, yeah, how, yeah, how, yeah, 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 obviously, yeah, they're yeah. coming straight. Well, is it a big syringe? Yeah, is it a big... <laughs> it's like um, a piping bag. Yep. So you'd have a piping bag of caramel, a piping bag of chocolate, mm. um, and a piping bag of cream. Uh- and then you have it. A I always remember <laughs> yeah, on, on, on the on the um on those filled donuts mm. you'd always um I always was struck by the same feeling every time I saw on the side of the donut you knew the hole it had gone in on because on a jam donut you know you'd see a little telltale like a bullet wound yeah. on the side like a little dollop of jam and you'd always think to yourself as a kid that's how they do it. Yeah. And then you just wouldn't even care, though, because yeah. you just get straight into it. So there's always, <laughs> always that moment of being bite. like, it's not magical to you, yeah. but then it also is the most magical thing in the world because stop thinking, start eating yeah. was usually the signal that was <laughs> yeah. sent And you to always my bite ham over, over the bullet hole. Because otherwise, you know you're on the same. Well, you're, well you're, you're at the risk of losing jam at sight. If you bite, bite it the wrong side, the jam c- sometimes would explode out, out of That's the bullet interesting. hole. And you might check. That's interesting. You might get hot, yep. Yep. hot jam yep. on your fingers. Yeah, and that's interesting because you you would do yeah you were doing that from a protective point of view. You didn't want to waste jam, but I would always bite over the bullet hole because that told me you're definitely going to get jam in this bite. Yeah. So mine was sort of more of a piggy motivation, <laughs> and yours was more of a safety motivation. <laughs> Brooklyn, what do you think's the best combo donut that you've ever created? Um, there was once where I dabbled with a pineapple glazed donut. Yeah, they're great. Cream mm-hmm. and then caramel filling in the middle. How'd that go? So first? tropical. That's yeah. one. Yeah, that's yeah. great. How did that? It was like a holiday. It was. Would like you? It sounds. It tastes a lot like. It sounds like it would taste a lot like a pina colada. Was it a bit of a yeah. sort of a donutty pina colada? Yeah, it was really the good. underage <laughs> pina colada. It was amazing. Do you ever do peanut butter and jam in a chocolate donut? Oh my god, that sounds amazing! All right, we we'll let you two discuss ingredient. combo flavors. Off I haven't there. done it. it. I don't know if All the science in Australia for. will let us do it, but I want to. And <laughs> let's you. definitely let's talk. Okay, you guys bye, get sorry, we're getting into it, Brooklyn. It's you're getting a wrap up here. We're getting a wrap up. Business brunch. Oh. I need some PB. One topic per day on this show, and we just do this show once a day. Uh, so, um. Haim, fast biz. Uh, the few, we're now, we've banned ourselves from getting back together at 11pm at night to recreate the magic that we had in the morning of the business brunch. Once a day, that's, you know, that's all we're allowed to do. Fast biz, Ando, fast, fast biz, biz, top, top three, three, top three, top fast, three, fast three, biz, fast biz. Yeah. Number three. Uh, should point out hamishnetty.com co- yeah. forward slash topics. Uh, more topics are already up there for, for this week's show and then next week's show, so make sure you go have a look, Haim. And oh, this comes in from company man Lance, the world donut eating champion and all around good guy. Wow. Um, not his real name, I don't think, because his email address is different. Mm. Um, he, his message is, I once downed 10 jam donuts in two minutes. Are we talking those? Think about the maths. Are we talking full size jam donuts? We've got to be talking full size. Oh, he might be talking about the ones you get at the footy, because they're, that's, that's where you buy them in packs of six. I suppose they're they're a mid. They're a mid. They're they're a midi. Either way, he's either great or incredible. Let's let's put it down. Well, the thing way. is, it, it's just, well, he's actually the world donut eating champion. That's what he's called himself in his in his uh, in his title. Though he has used the name Lance, mm. which then immediately suggests cheat. So if you're gonna <laughs> think of it, if you're gonna think of a fake name that also includes the the words world champion, yeah, don't pick Lance, <laughs> John. Or, you know, D- Darismal. Anyway, he goes on to say, I think that deserves a mug or at least a pen. Yep. Uh, we have neither. I mean, we have mugs, <laughs> mugs, but you don't get one if you ask for one. Um, we don't have pens. Yeah. Borderline will give you a pencil, no. depending on what Jack says about this last bit. He says, your show's quite good, but I think Jack's letting you down sack him. Ooh. So, Jack, your up choice, to you. Then. Does he get a pencil? No pencil. <laughs> okay, <there you> go. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Number two. Um, hey, and this is comes uh, international biz from Edinburgh. Company man Maddie J. Krispy Kreme donuts opened in Edinburgh a few weeks ago. First time caused wow. chaos. People were queuing at the drive-through for hours to get their hands on donuts. Led by crazy queues going all the way back onto the motorway. I love donuts, but I've still not had any from Krispy Kreme yet. Now we were late on Krispy Kremes, not as late as Scotland by the looks of things. 
It passes, Maddie. <laughs> Uh, it, sorry, uh, Marty, it definitely Marty. passes. Yeah. We we've got we got correspondence uh, this week from someone on the central coast yeah. of Australia. Both Krispy Kremes there have shut down. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they amalgamated it and now a yeah. double decker store in Edinburgh. But look, yeah, it's um much like when someone brings donuts into the office. The yeah. first. Five minutes a mayhem. Yeah. But if there's too many donuts, you eventually do go about your day again. <laughs> Number one. And uh, this comes in from company lady Zoe Edwards. She's from Brizzy. And I'll read, I'll read the full email for you. My mum and I used to go to Donut King, get two cinnamon donuts and a chocolate milkshake to share. It was always fun. Now, at first, that <laughs> seems like a bland email, doesn't it? But you know what I like about this? Yeah. Just a great donut memory. A beautiful moment that I think we can all stop and have a think about. I don't know what it is about this story, but it just appeals to me. A yeah. cinnamon donut each and yeah. a chocolate milkshake two is one of the most probably. beautiful things two people can do that isn't making a baby. And obviously, she can't do that with her mum. No, so, the next wouldn't. best thing they yeah. can do is just have just a cinnamon donut. And a cinnamon donut yeah. is saying to, it's begging out for a beverage because a cinnamon donut is yeah. a team player. Notably it's left saying, out. And- I can't do it on my own. You need to add a coffee or a milkshake or milk or something to me and I will be wonderful. But without me, I'm just throwing up alley-oops. Without anyone to slam dunk it, you're not going to score any points. <laughs> Company man Andy's has emailed in... Um, it's definitely Andy's. It's it's uh, A D A N D double I S. Uh, it's Andy's, isn't it? It's it's, uh, Andy's. There's no two no yeah. two ways about that. That is um, pl- it's more than one Andy or uh, a new name we haven't heard of. And brings a wise head to the business meeting today. Ham at 59 years of age. He simply writes, "I used to really love pineapple donuts." I hear him. I'm a big fan of pineapple. Um, he said, "But the only yeah. ones you ever see now." Uh, and he said, the only ones I ever see now, I buy, but they are always stale. I sense a conspiracy. Right. Andy's joins us on the, uh, on, on the Business Brunch, mate. How are you? I'm good, Andy. Good. Good to good. hear. Andy's- uh, hello, Andy's. <laughs> uh, Andy, Andy, Andy's together. Uh, hey, boy. Singly, and that, and Andy's. Exactly you got it, Hamish. Andy's. <laughs> yeah, we, we are a mountain Andy's. range. <laughs> Andy is. <laughs> the, the Andy's. Um Yep. I found this interesting. I also love pineapple donuts. I also agree with you that they tend to be stale, particularly, I won't name the chain, but at some convenience stores, they seem to be the ones that stick around the longest. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, maybe, yeah. But you it's, say you sense a conspiracy. What Well, look, what conspiracy this is would you really, think? really, really weird, man. Okay. This is weird. I've just gone onto this certain site to check out the uh, the pineapple dose the pineapple donut company okay. to see whether or not I can make a complaint before I get to speak to you guys. Yeah. I get onto the website. I won't mention the name of the people, mm-hmm. and there, there there's their range. It's a full range. It's usually what you see prepackaged in the yep. in the shops. I live in Central Victoria yeah, in the right. country, so there's all that sort of stuff. I go on the site, and there's all the donuts mm-hmm. and all the little yeah. buns and the biscuits, and there's the pineapple donut. Now, I click off it to go onto your site mm. to say that I've seen it. I might get there and do something. I go back onto their site. It's removed. Whoa. <laughs> when you clicked back on the company, was the company's website gone or was just the pineapple donut? Just the pineapple like It's a full range of products, like three across, three down. Yep. And then on the right-hand side, on the bottom right, there is now one missing. There's no so I just wondered if you'd done this as a bit of a trick to get the old man, you know, and stuck in there. We do not have the power, Andes. We don't have that. So, I mean, we would love really? to be able to do that to mess with You're you. Oh, dude. we would love to mess with you. Love would, Nothing would give us more fun than to see you messing with you, but we don't have the capability to do it at that level. And so now is it possible that it's no longer for sale? Is it? Is it? Is this what thing a cover-up? We... I think what they're doing is they're recycling in some form so that, you know, the, uh, the uh, cinnamon donuts are the same shape, same sort of stuff. Yeah. Maybe they get, they get returns or something. I don't know if they still do that sort of stuff. Yeah. But they get returns and then they just wipe up all the cinnamon and then dip them in <laughs> pineapples and then recycle them. You reckon you're dusting the, off the, cinnamon? The, the, I, I, and, think, yeah. I think that... The, the, uh, here's the real conspiracy theory. I think they're stale because of all the colours. Um, the the preservatives you're going to use in the yellow for the pineapple is by far the most powerful. Like that 
is often fluorescent yellow. It's never going to break down. I reckon there are some pineapple donuts in circulation from the late to 60s, early 70s. You're not working for them now. You, you're not... Uh, you, this, is part of, this is part of the conspiracy. Yeah. Good. On. And he's, someone's, agree, on their, someone's on their way to your house from my association, which uh, is just, is just labelled cinnamon, kettle. chocolate, strawberry. <laughs> and, uh, well, yep, yeah, put the kettle on um, and enjoy your last cup of tea before we kick in the windows and come and force feed you pineapple donuts till you stop asking questions. <laughs> and he's... Change your well name, done. change your address, seriously yeah. flee. Uh, and thank I feel, you very I feel much like for you calling might have us. already changed your name once um, <laughs> by adding an S. <laughs> so maybe change your name to more, even more Andy's. <laughs> Another couple of eyes. Okay. <laughs> thank you, mate. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, James and Andy. Oh, well, we really got to you. the bottom of that. Hey, uh, I mean, we've talked about conspiracy theories before, but that, that one's up there. Yeah, it really is up there. As soon as I figure out exactly what the conspiracy is, yeah, exactly. I um, am willing to agree there's definitely one going on. <laughs> it's a Princess Brunch. Hamish and Andy with you. Um, uh, one topic a day. We do one... Uh, uh, sorry, I'm blindfolded at the moment. I don't know why that confuses me. You can still talk, mate. Yeah, I know. You can still I know. talk. I just... Don't know where the microphone is, but um, the topic today is donuts, Ham. You've asked me to get blindfolded. I don't know why I had to get blindfolded this early, but... Um, I just feel like it uh, It just relaxes me knowing you can't make eye contact, and <laughs> I feel like it helps you focus on the show a little bit more. Yeah. Now, Ando, uh, we got an email from company lady, Dana. Mm-hmm. Her contention is that different shaped donuts taste differently. She says, I can always tell if it's a round donut, Mm -hmm. if it's a long donut, whatever it is. Uh, That fascinates me. She goes, is it a different mix? Do they make them, you know, in different factories? Shouldn't it all be about, you know, the same uh, the same sort of donut yeah. mix. So to test this, um, I tried it with my mouth, uh, except <laughs> I found that I ate them so f- swiftly, they all sort of got jumbled in together. So I need someone that's a little bit more disciplined with their eating. I've got you blindfolded. We've got four shapes here. Okay, I've uh, cut same flavoring the donuts. So all the same flavor, all chocolate. Okay, okay. So I've cut the donuts into small pieces mm-hmm. um, because I don't want you to be able to use your mouth to tell what shape it is. One piece comes from a circle donut. One piece comes from a dinosaur donut. Okay. One piece comes from a human shaped donut. Yep. One piece comes from a straight donut. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I need you to get four from four here <laughs> to win <laughs> yourself <laughs> a Holden Barina. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. The, the, yeah. This is the show hey, with the big prizes, yeah. making dreams come true. Is it similar it's, to uh, the um, to the Reebok car and the sports girl car uh, from from yesteryear? It's ca- I've painted it, donuts all okay, over it. It's, it's a donut a, car. They've so I need the- you to win it because I yeah. can't return it. Okay. So <laughs> okay. that's the exciting part about this. Okay. So yeah. and remember, when you win it, go nuts because um, we, you know, we'll use this in an ad that we can run <laughs> across the station yeah. to go. You know, Hamish and Andy giving away cars yeah. to each other. <laughs> to each other. <laughs> to each other. Yeah. Um, okay. So here's your first. Uh, here's your first oh, yeah. bite. You. What do you think that is? Enjoy that. Uh, for the listeners, it's the size of about a rum ball. Um, so um, I've got out a dinosaur, just- human, straight, or. Um, regular donut, regular circle size. Yeah, um, tastes like the straight one. Okay, straight is the first. Okay, here's the second one. Mm-hmm. Um, what do, you, what, what, do you, what do you think that is? If you've just tuned in, Andy is Thank eating you, different you, shaped you. donuts. He's blindfolded. He's doing it to win a Holden Barina <laughs> with uh, donuts painted all over it. They're not a sponsor, mm. um, by the way. They're a good car, That's but a do- I also that, think that, look, many other. Many other cars in their class are also just as good. <laughs> it seemed um, it tasted very similar to the first one. Okay. Okay. So, what do you? What shape do you feel it came from? It's though? a dinosaur. Di- have I said the di- no, dinosaur? Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Yeah. Second. Okay. Have the third one. Let's hurry it up too. Just yep. from our. Um, okay. We, I've just got the executive producer of all entertainment You're on the radio show down here. Putting, in my putting them in my mouth, which I appreciate. It's erotic for me. So try <laughs> not. That's the other reason you are blindfolded because if you took you blindfold off, you'd see I'm nude, just kind of smearing icing on my nipples. So yeah. keep the blindfold on. Keep tasting. What size Basically do you think? Regular donut. That one. Regular round, uh, um, and which means the final one you don't even need to taste I it have those. because you'll assume. You've, <laughs> and you, yeah, I can yep. confirm that it's human. The, the human shape. Okay, you said the order was no, straight can't, dinosaur, can't regular can't human. Now? Yeah, take okay, it off. Cool. Right. Um, I've put my clothes back on. Ando, <laughs> well, yeah. This is for 
a Holden Barina mm-hmm. with donuts painted on it. Mm. The first one you guessed was straight. Mm-hmm. I can tell you that that was wrong. They were all wrong. It was actually <laughs> circle straight human dinosaur. You got none right. You don't get a barina. I'm sending it back. You're a big idiot. No car for you. You haven't won the car. Boo hiss. Your mouth's broken. Your tongue doesn't work. No car for you. Let's still put Sorry, that I went in a bit hard that. there. Let's still put yeah, that in Yeah, I just that. wanted to get a bit of energy for the promo. <laughs> so we've got time for this business brunch. Thank you for being with us. HamishDanny.com. Have well, a the, pencil. There's a podcast there. I won't have a pencil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the podcast is there, forward slash topics, if you want to add to the new topics up this week. It was a pleasure doing business with a lot of you, except for Hamish. A job. That was the Hamish and Andy Show podcast, powered by Amy. Lucky you're with Amy. <laughs>